When a smartphone like the Galaxy S21 can no longer send text messages, the problem can be with the settings, or there's an issue with the network. There are only a few things you have to do on your phone and if they can't fix the problem, then it's your provider's turn to fix it. So in this video, I will be showing you what to do if your Galaxy S21 can't send text or SMS anymore. First solution, force restart your phone. The first thing that you have to do, especially if the phone was working properly prior to the problem, is to refresh its memory and reload all services. You can do so by doing the forced restart or simulate battery removal. Here's how it's done. Press and hold the volume down button and the power key for 10 seconds. This will trigger the phone to power down and turn back up. When the S21 logo shows, release both keys and wait until the phone has finished rebooting. If the problem still persists even after doing this procedure, try the next one. Second solution, make sure the phone has reception. For you to be able to send SMS, your phone must have good reception. So take a look at the signal indicator to see if there's good reception in the area. If you only get one or two bars of signal, then it might be just a reception issue, and there's definitely no problem with your phone. Also, one thing prepaid users have to consider is the credits. Just make sure your SIM card still has enough credits to send text messages. But if you have a plan and your phone shows it has good reception, then try the next solution. Third solution, reset network settings. After doing the first two solutions and your Galaxy S21 is still not able to send SMS, then try resetting the network settings to make sure it's not due to an issue with the network services. Swipe down from the top of the screen and then tap the settings icon. Find and tap general management. Touch reset. Tap reset network settings. Tap the reset settings button. If prompted, enter your PIN, password or pattern. Finally, tap reset. After this, try to see if the problem is fixed. Third solution, call your service provider. Perhaps the issue is with your service provider or your account. Thus, the next thing that you have to do is to call your service provider. If the problem is account related, you will be advised what you need to do to restore the service. However, if the problem is with the network, then you'll be given an estimated time of resolution and all you can do is wait. I hope that this simple troubleshooting guide has been helpful. Please support us by subscribing to our channel and enabling notifications. Thanks for watching.